Hello, my name is Kevin, and I'm a volunteer with the AARP Elder Watch Program. Today I would like to tell you about identity theft and how you can protect yourself using the three R's, recognize, refuse, and report. You may think that your identity is protected, but the skill in which thieves use to access your information today has increased dramatically. Scammers use many techniques to steal your identity. One of these techniques is dumpster diving. Thieves rummage through trash looking for bills or other paper with your personal information on it. To avoid falling victim to this, you should shred all unnecessary documents containing your personal information and also any bank information. Throughout the year, AARP Elder Watch offers free shredding events. Keep checking back to this website for more information. Another technique is skimming. When people steal credit or debit card numbers by using a special storage device when processing your card. To avoid this, make sure you give your credit card information to trusted companies and their representatives. Only a person you are sure works with that establishment. There are even people lurking on the internet using scams called phishing. Phishing scammers pretend to be financial institutions, companies, or even governmental agencies and send email or pop-up messages to get you to reveal your personal information. Always research a website before you give your information, making sure that it's not a fake and never give out information on pop-up links. You may think that these new techniques should be your main focus, but don't forget about plain old-fashioned stealing. People are still after your wallets and purses, mail including bank and credit card statements, pre-approved credit offers, and new checks or tax information. Identity thieves can also steal personnel records from their employers or bribe employees who may have access. All this information may seem daunting to you, however, there are ways to protect yourself. Have you thought about placing a freeze on your credit? Be cautious of what you throw out and make sure you shred your unnecessary documents with any personal information in them, important documents. Protect your social security number and keep important documents in a safe, unobvious place in your home. Also, protect your computer by installing security hardware and up-to-the-date operating systems and always use unique passwords. Many people fall victim to identity theft without even being aware of it, and this is where our DTECH step becomes important. You should be alert to signs that require your immediate attention. This includes noticing bills that do not arrive as expected or unexpected credit cards or account statements that show up in your name. Be wary of calls or letters about purchases that you did not make and charges on your financial statements that you don't recognize because these are also signifiers that someone may be using your credit. Another signifier that you may have fallen victim to identity theft are denials of credit for no apparent reason. An effective way to keep tabs on your credit is to check your credit report on a regular basis, which allows you to see what credit you have out and how it is being used. If you do fall victim to identity theft, don't panic, just defend yourself. You can take an active role in reestablishing your identity by placing a fraud alert on your credit reports and review these reports carefully by contacting the security or fraud departments of a company where you have given money without your okay, by filing a police report, and also reporting the theft to the Federal Trade Commission. These are essential ways to stop these from continuing to use your credit and preventing them from attacking others who fall vulnerable to their schemes. I hope you've learned the risk that come along with identity theft and that you now feel more confident in being able to protect yourself from identity theft.